hello guys, uh, African Traveller here and uh, I'm on the town on the equator which is called Nanyuki. Nanyuki is basically, uh, came from a Maasai word meaning Enyanyuki which means basically resemblance. So it's one of those towns that really grow, grew a lot and it's also called the Cowboy City because of the, a uh, lot of, um, what do you call it, uh, the British settlers who mostly came here during the colonial time and most of them never left. Uh, so the town has really grown over time and I can't wait to, get to show you guys what the town has. So there's a lot of t um, wheat plantation that will go on later on. And uh, the other thing about Nanyuki is a town with uh, so many military barracks so, and uh, you know the airstrip. This is where the, we have the main uh, Air Force, Kenya Air Force training camp. And a big, ta big part of the town has been blocked from flying. So we'll try to capture as much as we can. But I hope you guys will be entertained with whatever we got. And yeah, so you guys, see you on the air or on the boat. So many tourists stop by the area. So many tourists. Really, a new key. So guys, we are finally at the Trout Tree Hotel, Trout Tree Restaurant, and uh, I just want to show you how amazing this place is and why it's more famous. So let me just take you a small tour of the area. Wow, I just like the wooden, you know, it, it blends uh, very well with nature. So let's look at this hotel. Just look at the setup. And uh, the funny thing is the hotel is in, on top of a tree. Just like everything is on top of a tree for your visibility. Wow. Let's go and see more from it. Uh, I hope I'll show you, be able to show you guys the ponds where the fish are fished. Sasa. Let's look at this. And more ponds here. I think this is the main restaurant. Nice. Try tree. Look at that. Yeah. That's how the place is. We want to go to the ponds. Oh, there's a road here. Just look at that restaurant. This is where the trout is fished. There are so many ponds. 
One, two, three, four, five, wow. Wow. It's in this place, chilling spot. I really want to get close to the fish so that I can get to show you the trout. Oh. <laughs> wow. These are the trout. Wow. Look at that. Wow, one has been caught. Wow. 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 So in how many, how old is it? Yeah. Kama mwaka moja na kitu. Kama mwaka moja na kitu. Kama Iyo? Mm. Kwa ni how, unazifuga for how long? Iki vika ya kukuru ho. Yeah. Na yasayada mwaka moja na mwesi nane. Yeah. Waka mwesi na kabiri. Ya kukula? Yeah. How many ponds mko nazo hapa? Mimigi. Tate something. Tate something. Yeah. Same, same size? Ah uh ah. -uh. Yeah. Oh, this is bigger. This is bigger. Oh, kuna hizo? Kuna hizo. This is where the rich live around this airstrip. So we can't fly, we can't be able to fly to show you the rich house of Nanyuki. So hello great people, I'm with Obadia, the manager of this beautiful place we spent our night here, it's called the Penguin. So Obadia, thank yeah. you so much for... Most welcome. Asante sana. So, um, I just want to know, uh, we're here in Nanyuki. Yes. And uh, me as a, f no it's not my first time, but as a first time visitor, yeah. what should I expect? What is Nanyuki all about? Because it's really famous. Oh, perhaps I would say that Nanyuki is a whole big vibe. Yeah. It's a big story. Mm -hmm. that dates back many years ago yeah and uh, i would say that this is where you get the, the all the, the whole story about musha mm -hmm. and, so uh, end of the railway yes sure oh, so uh, so nanyuki basically started before because of the when the train came ah there's so much colonial activities at the time back mm -hmm. then and those that uh, also continue to give so much activities today mm -hmm. i would say that because um, yes we speak at a moment when the train is back on the rail. So it's not Musho already again, I could say. <laughs> it's perhaps the rail is back on the train. So the, right now the train, the old train is back? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Wow. You can get to the railway station in Nairobi, the Dika, and find yourself here. Wow. So first time, I remember this time, it was back, and I had the opportunity to use it. Mm. And I was like, the real thing, the real deal is back. So what does it come with? It comes with the opportunity for many people mm. to travel to Nanyuki. Mm. Simply because uh, with COVID and everything back, uh, perhaps a little bit back, yeah. so many people, domestic tourism has been on the, sh on the rise. Yeah. And people have realized the need to be able to travel within their country. Because mm. so there's this perception that trips like, Traveling is for the super rich, you know, no. Mm -mm. 
traveling brings so much insight into your thinking and how you perceive things. That's true. I've learned a lot while traveling. Yes, yes, yes. You meet people who believe they are tribalists like you. Mm -hmm. People yeah. who perceive <laughs> that they belong to no tribe. You meet people who do not have a family like me. Mm. To me, family is love, care and compassion. When you talk about penguin house, this is what we talk about. We care about the experience that people are going to have in the meeting. Mm -hmm. We love them when they come here. This is why we've got so much things that we offer to them. But back in Nanyuki, there's so much to do in Nanyuki one. So many people are not aware that you can come here and uh, just do a day trip to Mount Kenya. A day trip? I was really surprised. Yes. Because it's initially trip. told like a five day trip to you. No, 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 no. Mm. If at this time, I look at my clock say, that says it's 8.40. Yeah. If you want them to do a day trip from now, when I serve you breakfast, yeah. you could leave this place at 9.30. This is 1,947 meters above sea level. Okay. Then drive comfy with your music in the car and all the way up to 4,000 meters above sea level. And at this point now you, you've seen a new king. You're able to see the entire of Nanyuki like this. You're able to experience the huge flower farms from the mountain. Wow. 4,000 meters above sea level. Think about that. <laughs> <laughs> too tempting. It's too tempting. Yeah. So how, that's how many hours drive? That is basically max 25 minutes drive. And you are the famous own Moses. If you ask me why they send on Moses, I can't tell you. So wait, what was, do you mean Moses? Old Moses camp. Mm. It's old Moses camp. If you ask me why they send on Moses camp in Musha already, where yeah. so many activities happen, I don't know. Unless they tell us whether this, where this place may be covenant and uh, all these things. Mm. Most, I don't know, but it's old Moses camp anyway. So there is that. Then you can just uh, do a tour to Nanyuki mm -hmm. and see the famous Musha already. Yeah. <coughs> the train station. The train station. Yeah. Why Musha already? Many people don't understand that. They just say Musha already in Nanyuki. But there is a story that goes that when the colonial team was trying to set up the rail, yeah. there was so much fun in this town, which lives on today. Oh, so the, when the train came to an end, uh, building. But no, the train never came to an end. The train does not proceed. It yes. ends here, right? But now why it's Musha already and why the vibe goes on today, and mm. why the story keeps on reviving itself, yeah. is the fact that these guys had so much fun. And the story goes that they lost the map. <laughs> they lost the map? Yes. <laughs> they An interesting story. Nuki is full of party. There are clubs that you can come. Um, Moran is one of them. Mm. You can come and party all day till morning. Nuki is also a base camp. So you've yeah. got all these military, military people who are always yeah, in the Yeah, Nuki has uh, the armed forces, Kenyan armed yes. forces. We have the British UK, Army. the British Army. Now we have the Americans the American bringing Army. their camp very soon. Yeah, so this area is full of military guys. And I don't know how to fly the drone in town. And full of fun. Yes, there are so many limitations, but we are lucky enough that we are a couple of meters from town. Yeah. So we are not within the, the, the zone the area. That the, is, the zoned area. That is, yeah, has got so much restrictions. Mm. So now, maybe back to that. You see all these people come from the bush with so much money. Mm -hmm. And you know, of course, at times, men and uh, parties, it comes with so many things. So there was so much fun. And this fun came with it. Have you seen the map? What only figures are I got for map? Yes, map and potenza. So guys came here, had fun, and lost the map. Yes. So the train had to come to. Oh, so, so. Uh, perhaps one time you could people find come people from Meru coming to ask you, what did you do? We, you are the, you are the, you mark the hand of the rail line. But anyway, that's how the story goes. They lost the map. Yeah. We hope someday they could get it. We don't know. <laughs> How many? A hundred plus years uh, later? That is a hundred years. <laughs> and you see that's the time. The, mm. You see the whole vibe about... So, so, so mm. now the town itself. Yes. The yes. town itself, yes. Nanyuki. Yes. What has really made it to become a big city like this? Which communities are trading here? <coughs> what business is here? What agricultural products come from this part of the area? There is so much conservation that goes on in Nanyuki. Yeah. Um, there are so many conservancies. Yeah. There are so many flower farms. Mm -hmm. All this comes with economic activities. Mm -hmm. All these economic activities come with so much investments. Mm -hmm. 
So now you have people who are here to basically do conservation. Mm -hmm. You have people like called Pajeta. Yeah. You've got people like called Jogi Conservancy. You have people like Ngarendare Conservancy. Uh, Ngarendare Ngarendare. Ngarendare so there's so much. So basically what you're trying to say is uh, tourism is a huge uh, It's a huge business. thing. It's a huge thing. Mm. I I personally come from Meru, but mm. my love for Nanyuki is so big. Nanyuki is a place I would have to be. I would have to be in so many places, mm -hmm. but I'm happy most being in Nanyuki. What is that one thing that makes you ah. love Nanyuki? <clears throat> one, I've been, I've, I've, I've lived in Nairobi for some good time. Yeah. But coming here gives me so much silence. The peace, so the tranquility. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, I can feel it. It comes with, it comes with so much. For example, when you step into Penguin House, mm. you're not sure whether you're within a town or in a in a rural setup mm. because there is a whole there is conservation but like I've told you conservation goes on a lot you can see like this is a very small uh, area mm -hmm. but then like seventy percent is full of green spaces green wow. spaces yeah there is more trees and uh, nature yes, yes. than uh, the building itself step into the restaurant and you will find exactly what I'm talking about mm. you will find green spaces because then I think people in Nanyuki have realized that uh, you can't keep taking from nature. Mm. To, to give back to nature. nature. Yeah, so why in Anyuki is still a big vibe is that there is all these people from Nairobi. So, there, oh, <laughs> there, there are all these people from Nairobi. There is all this market from Europe. For example, if you talk about Penguin House, you're talking about 65% European Asian market and perhaps another percentage, which could be 35 or so. Local market. Local market. Yes, we have our huge bookings online. Mm. You see, if you check our reviews, you can clearly understand what I'm talking about. Mm. And one of the things that the fact that we've been able to capitalize on trips from here, you are able to visit Samburu from here. You are able to visit Ngarendare. You are able, able to do a nice town tour. Mm. We organize cabs for you, so you can do a whole trip to Nanyuki. Nanyuki. And then no one teach you that Nanyuki is not uh, capable of offering you what you want. We've got Chandarana, we've got Quick Mat, yeah. we've got fresh produce from the farm. Wow. What other agricultural products do you, do you does it come from, do they, they come from around the uh, menu? <coughs> One, anything you step into the market mm -hmm. and the purchase from the, the soko mm. is from the farms. Why? And I, I think like keep here, I look at like keep here like a great friend to many people. Mm -hmm. Like keep here is a friend to Nyeri, like keep here is a friend to Meru, like keep here is a friend to Samburu, like keep here is a friend to Embo County. So mm -hmm. it's surrounded by a, a circle of economic activities that support. Yeah. Even when maybe it's kind of dry. And then the TVs, let the TVs not tell you about crisis in anything. Mm -hmm. No, don't listen to that. Because it's far. It's far away. It's I've been village. here. F I've been here from 2016. I've never seen anyone shoot the other person. Don't listen to the TV. Listen to me. Yeah, because Lakipe is wide. So. Lakipe is wide. Lakipe is one of the biggest counties. Mm. Why? If you go down these way as you go to Mogi uh, Conservancy, you are ending close to going to Baringo. If you go down like this, Welt North, you're going mm. to Samburu. If you go down like this, you're going to Meru. You go down this way, you're going to Hembu. You go up, you're going to Nyeri. Nyeri. You see, so Rikipia is so huge, and uh, there's a lot of wheat. I see a lot of wheat, and they say uh, yes, yes, the, yes. the greenhouses as well. Yes, tell me. You know that we've got 47 counties. Yeah. Some of them do, but tell me the, how many how many counties have got so much exports out of the country. We we we've got so much to do with flowers. Flower we are selling out. Yes, we have beef from a uh, from all yeah, that we are selling the out. One of the best. Yes, one of the best. Yes, we have all these uh, fresh fresh produce, broccoli, French beans, all of that selling out. Wow. Okay, so 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 guys, I uh, will try and capture all these as we drive by, and uh, yeah, we'll try to start from. Uh, we'll see you guys from the air from. So right now we are at the Penguin Hotel, the famous Penguin Hotel. Let's get in.
great people we come to the end of our day today in this beautiful town of Nanyuki so we are headed to Meru and I hope we'll have an amazing time in Meru so you guys have a good time and don't forget to subscribe like and share and as well you can join uh, to support the channel via your patreon or Mpesa or you know pay I don't know anything that you can support or yeah so have a good time have a good great day and uh, see you on the next one thank you